Welcome back to the show. Uh, not quite American, it was Canadian. Uh, Kai <laughs> Jepsen and yeah. Out City. Uh, but the reason I'm, I'm highlighting the fact that you know we should be talking about America is because we are talking about the uh, Tun Abdul Razak chair. Uh, did you know it's named in honor of our second prime minister, Tun Abdul Razak, and it's housed at the Ohio University Center of International Studies. And it offers a unique understanding of both Malaysia and America. Let's find out a bit more about this. We'd well, like to welcome in our show, on our studio, the beautiful ladies on the left of your screen, uh, Professor Dr. Habiba Ashari, who is the 14th Tun Abdul Razak Chairholder, Chairholder, don't play, play, uh, from Ohio <laughs> University, and Professor in Education from Faculty of Education, UITM. And uh, beside her is Professor Datin Dr. Susanna Sulaiman, who is the Assistant uh, Vice-Chancellor of the Institute of Leadership and Quality Management, or ILCOM, and uh, from UITM Shah Alam, of course, mm -hmm. as also and also a professor in management accounting. My faculty, woohoo! Okay. Quite, quite the charmer <laughs> this morning, isn't he? <laughs> so tell us about this event that's happening on the 15th, right? Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay, uh, thank you. On Tuesday next week, uh, which is on the 15th, uh, UITM Ohio is uh, organizing the, the 9 Tun Abdul Raza uh, lecture. Mm -hmm. uh, Institute of uh, Leadership and Quality Management ILCOM, uh, will be presenting will be representing UITM in organizing this event. This event will consist of two sessions. Okay, the first session will start with the conferral of the honorary degree mm -hmm. to Datuk Seri Muhammad Najib Tun Abdul Razak, our Prime Minister, and mm -hmm. this is followed by the second session, which is the Nine Tun Razak lecture by Dr. Surin uh, Pitsuan, the former Secretary General of uh, ASEAN. Uh, and his title of his lecture will be ASEAN and its impact on global and uh, economics and politics. Oh. Right? And this event will be held at uh, Shah Alam Convention Center. And why is it not being conduct, uh, be conducted in UITM? Because currently uh, UITM is having our our exam, yes. exam week, and yeah, yes. final exam. So due to that, uh, it can't be. Uh, we can have it in any of our premises, uh, and the exam ends on the 21st of January. All right. Um, besides the fact that uh, Dr. Sri Najib is the son of uh, Tun Abdul Razak, mm -hmm. uh, what is the rationale, the conferment of this honorary degree on uh, Yang Abdul Rahman? Well, uh, let me give you a background of the. Uh Ohio University Malaysia relationship. Mm -hmm. It started in the early 60s, and actually, it was uh, our late Ago uh, who actually met with some Ohio, Univers uh, Ohio University professors in Lagos, Nigeria, mm -hmm. at an embassy function. He was the High Commissioner uh, to Nigeria at that time, our uh, ninth Ago, uh, Tongu Jafar. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he said uh, the OU University professors were there to actually help. Uh, Nigeria built up its teacher education program and he said hey why don't you come to Malaysia so after several uh, discussions and then two years later uh, some Ohio University professors came here and we began the uh, relationship with Ohio University mm -hmm. and because of that relationship the chair was uh, established in 1980 with the first uh, professor being Professor mm -hmm. Said Najib okay. and uh, since then 14 chairs have uh, held the uh, well the chair okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah and uh, and you're the second woman holding the chair yes i am the second woman and the 14th and yeah. the first from uitm wow yeah. yes. you're very proud of that yeah <laughs> and and uh it was named in honor of our second prime minister our right. father of development mm -hmm. and you know this is a beautiful coincidence Correct. the sixth prime yeah. minister is his eldest son mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah you know and to uh honor that uh, Ohio University has been wanting to confer the degree on our YAB PM Najib for a long time and Alhamdulillah January 2013 he has agreed to the conferment mm -hmm. and so that's why we're here mm -hmm. and that's why Ilkam and Ohio <laughs> University UITM are very very busy right now mm -hmm. uh, you know to the run-up of the uh, event on January mm -hmm. 15 so he is recognized for his many achievements in politics in government, in transforming Malaysia into a high-income nation, to his dedication to, to education. He was a minister of uh, education at one time. Mm -hmm. He brought uh, branch campuses to, you know, of foreign universities uh, to mm -hmm. Malaysia, like Nottingham right. mm -hmm. and Monash and many others. I think there are four. So, um, 
that's the recognition. Mm -hmm. His yeah. outstanding achievements. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not to mention the economic track record, 5.3% growth when yeah. everybody else is really suffering <laughs> <Great>. economically. <laughs> so that's amazing stuff. Mm. Uh, congratulations once again to Yama Bohomad yeah. for this conferment. So um, um, what other linkages uh, does Ohio University and UITM have? <laughs> Well, initially, we uh, Ohio was responsible for uh, uh, organizing the Bachelor in Business Administration program. So, a lot of BBAs in the early 70s uh, came from Ohio University. Mm. And uh, it was a twinning program. Many of them actually never stepped foot in Athens, Ohio. Oh. It was all done in UITM. Okay. Nice. And then in 1975, uh, we started the Masters in Business Administration program also in UITM. So um, those were the early programs and now we have a study abroad programs. In fact, recently uh, on the 9th, um, 15th uh, Ohio University students left, uh, left Malaysia after spending three weeks here. They were filming um, a short story based uh, in Malaysia, mm -hmm. home for Hari Raya. Mm -hmm. It's written by an, an American uh, expatriate, uh, Robert Raymer, who lives in Sarawak. And so, you know, these are the kinds of linkages that we would like to uh, pursue uh, research, collaborations, uh, joint supervision of PhDs, and um, many collaborative programs. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't want to call it twinning anymore. You know, these oh. are collaborative programs on an equal footing. All right, very That's nice. Right. Uh, let's move on now to the ninth Raza Lecture. Uh, what is the Raza Lecture and uh, how frequent is this program held? Um, this is the ninth. Uh, it, is, uh, it is a lecture mm -hmm. that the chairholder, in his or her term, must organize mm -hmm. at least once. All right. So each chairholder will organize the uh, Raza mm -hmm. Lecture once in his or her term. And this is the ninth. We started in 1994. I, I believe um, 93 actually 93 actually yep. Yep. October yeah. 29th yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, 90, oh, he knows more about this than I do I have the booklet yeah. <laughs> For this point in time yes. we do that <laughs> yeah. okay. So um, It usually features distinguished uh, American speakers yeah, You know they Ohio are either University. Provost or President Emeritus yeah. Or uh, Deputy uh, State Secretary Like Clifton Wharton and the topics are usually of uh, current interest at that time. Mm -hmm. It could be on pension funds. Yeah. It could be on nationalism. It could be on, you know, a road to a global university, etc., mm -hmm. etc. Anything that is relevant to that time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what what is the topic that's going to be presented this time around? Yeah. The title of the lecture. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Susanna yeah, yeah. mentioned it earlier. It is um, because this guy, or, or rather, this <laughs> distinguished in individual. <laughs> Uh, was the former Secretary General of ASEAN, mm. I thought that uh, he could speak on ASEAN. Mm. So I was, uh, you know, in my hallucinatory uh, moments, mm. I would say, ha, huh, what would uh, Dr. Surin be uh, talking about? So I came up with this topic, ASEAN and its impact on global, global politics. Economy. And the economies and politics. Yeah. Very pertinent because Barack Obama's first visit was to Burma. You know? Exactly. So that, that yeah. signifies how important ASEAN is. Absolutely. You know, global scale. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and of course, there's always this tussle for Burma. Now, mm -hmm. uh, America seems to be interested. Previously, it was China. Mm -hmm. So, very and interesting. This is America has many friends. America has <laughs> many friends, yeah. And yeah. this is the first time the lecture has been uh, delivered by someone who is not from the from US, mm. someone from oh. another No, ASEAN. this is the second time. Second time. Time, yes, we time have time. had yeah. uh, our Tan Sri Muhammad Ghazali Shafi'i, our mm. former yeah. foreign okay. minister. Yeah. But that's, that's someone who's, I mean, he's someone who's local, but this is someone who's from... Uh, oh, yes, yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you're right, yes. you're right. So he's yes. from Thailand, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, that's great. Uh -huh. Interesting, a perspective about ASEAN and America and the mm. relationship that will be built after this. Uh, the title is already set. Where uh, were there any other uh, Malaysians who have been invited to be distinguished speakers uh, besides Nancy? No, he was the only one. And so when when did he speak? I think uh, his is the only one that I have not uh, dated yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I it, presume it's ninety seven. <laughs> Probably, yeah. It, because this lecture is done every two years. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. but. Uh, so uh, probably 1997, but we have been, you know, digging up our records and 
we couldn't find the date, yeah, okay. exact date, and where it was held. <laughs> Somewhere in the archives. Um, yeah. Who will be attending this lecture? Uh, okay, um, the invitees uh, consist of those from Prime Minister Office, obviously, right. mm -hmm. uh, the Ministry of Higher Education. Uh, we also invited the President of Ohio University mm -hmm. himself, mm -hmm. okay, Razak, Razak Council members, the ambassadors. Uh, representative from all the uh, GLCs, right. uh, Ohio's alumni, wow. the vice chancellor of all the IPTA and IPTS, okay, mm. and obviously UITM Pro Chancellor, Board of Directors of UITM, and also top management of uh, UITM. So, roughly, how many people are you expecting? To uh, okay, uh, actually, we, we issued about five five hundred invitation cards, but uh, we will expect the maximum of four hundred. 400. As per yesterday, I think the number is increasing and it's already close to 300. Okay, 200. Right. academically right. dense event, <laughs> really with a lot of uh, thought put into it. Yeah. And Absolutely. Uh, yeah. what are the expectations for such an event? Very high. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely high. No pressure. <laughs> uh, Lots of pressure. Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, Profit have actually contacted us the last two and a half months. So the last two and a half months, IFCAM and other departments have working very hard. Yes. All right, because we, we realize that the prestige of this event so and also uh, the, the the invitees that we are in, uh, inviting, yep. they are high profile uh, mm. people. So we really expect that um, everybody could gain some added knowledge from the lecture. That yeah. that will be our expectation, and hopefully the event will be a successful yeah. one. And I'm sure right. you've already been communicating closely for the past two months. You're practically best friends now. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we, we, we are related, in fact. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> it's like I know where you live. <laughs> you I started planning this actually uh, um, in 2011, towards okay. the end of 2011. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it was through, inter uh, through email communication yeah. mm -hmm. to get these people, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. to get our guest, distinguished speaker, mm -hmm. YAB, PM Najib to agree on dates, on schedule, on venue. It took a lot of hard work mm -hmm. and planning and you have to be very patient. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, will there be uh, opportunity for dialogue between the uh, attendees and the presenter? Or will it be just a, a lecture? Yeah. There, will there will be. There will be a Q&A mm -hmm. at the end of yeah. this uh, lecture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we flew him all the way from Bangkok. Right, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, is there any chance, Professor, for you to hold two terms of <laughs> being a chairholder? <laughs> oh! Tell that to the minister. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put in a good word. Yeah, put in a good word. <laughs> Honestly, if our word counts for anything. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure they do. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here on board with us. Uh, would you Most like welcome. to once again inform our viewers about when and where this will be happening? Yeah. And for further information as well. Okay. Uh, the Raza, uh, the 9th Raza lecture, as I mentioned, uh, it will be held on the 15th of January, which is next Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And it will be held at uh, Shah Alam Convention Centre. Mm -hmm. uh, All right. On that note, thank you very much, professors, for being here with us. It's uh, been a pleasure Most talking welcome. to you. Thank Most you very welcome. much. And we You're shall move welcome. on. Yes, to uh, talk more about this another uh, program. That's which, right. Which has just been conducted yesterday, I think. Now, this is quite interesting because uh, it's a conference on legal transformation for safety and basic rights laws. And these transformations have already taken place. The conference was to educate the public on why they took place. And of course, the inspiration, which came from once again our Prime Minister, Yama Bahormat, Dr. Sri Oman Ajib Tun yes. So we'll be finding out more about these transformations just in case you don't know. <laughs> we'll be right back. Don't go away.